ridges on the scale's surface are a key component that affect how the wing spreads or refracts light, similar to a prism. When light hits these ridges, a phenomena called constructive interference comes into play. The spacing within the ridges, which look like little Christmas trees, perfectly reinforces specific wavelengths while canceling out others. This is why your eyes perceive that shimmering blue. They're looking at morpho wings in particular because they reflect light. That's why they're iridescent. So they're looking at the light reflecting qualities at a nano microscopic level and trying to reproduce that so they can use that in technologies where light and uh, photons need to be reflected to carry energy or information. When the wings are heated by the sun, the Christmas tree shaped nanostructures expand, changing how they diffract the light and making the wing change color. Scientists at GE notice that the wings changed color when exposed to certain gases, as well as to heat. Scientists have been using these findings to develop synthetic sensors that are capable of detecting up to a thousand different gases. These butterfly-inspired sensors could one day help doctors assess wound healing and test food and water safety, and could also help in military devices like night vision goggles and bomb detectors. This is biomimicry, using solutions from nature to solve our own problems. Scientists like Clint are trying to create similar structures to be used as security devices on banknotes, bank cards, and tickets. What you're looking at is just a thin, transparent piece of plastic, and we've punched little tiny holes. The holes are about 100 nanometers deep and 100 nanometers in diameter. Each little image that you see on there has about 500 million holes punched into it. And those holes create a three-dimensional kind of grating that allow for the light to reflect and refract out and create those brilliant colors. Structural color is the design on stream technology. By using this, we bring to life the rich curvature of the LC body. By basic nature of how light travels in structural color, the color changes from one color to another color when you look from different angles. We wanted to deliver an amazing experience for our customer by inventing new ways to achieve a magical pure blue that stays blue always. It was a very exciting program to be able to, to collaborate between uh, Fiavi's thin film expertise and Lexus Automotive. Chromoflare pigments were developed for a really extreme color shift effect, and that's very different than the requirements Lexus has for structural color blue, so that was very challenging. Well, I think what most people would be surprised to find is that if you took the materials that are used to make the pigment, they have no color. Structural blue does not contain any blue material. It looks blue only because of the interference of light. The process begins with colorless particles of aluminum and zinc sulfide. These are vacuum coated onto transparent film in multiple layers, at which point they take on a blue appearance. After coating, the film is inspected in over 1,000 different locations to ensure Lex's quality. The production process is comprised of 12 separate steps, including the multi-layer structure being stripped from the film, dried, ground into flakes, and heat treated. Color quality is checked at each step, and only pigment that passes a total of 20 quality inspections can be used. Consequently, it takes eight months to produce enough structural color pigment for 300 Lexus LCs. The Morpho butterfly has multi-layered scales. These scales reflect visible light, creating a jewel-like blue. The Lexus LC Structural Blue. Using original technology, Lexus is the first in the world to attain the magnificent blue of the Morpho butterfly.